All right, guys, we're going to start this up on unconformities. We're talking about in the last slide, here it is, that you can get the law of superposition tells you where the older rock layers are on the bottom and it gets younger and younger as you move to the top. But that's only if the rock layers are undeformed, if they stack up nice and neatly on top of each other. But in nature, that doesn't always happen. Take a look at this picture. Maybe it's familiar to you. This is actually out at Glen Lake. And if you go out there, there's this nice little rock outcropping and it bends. Now, if you could only see the top of that, then you wouldn't know which, top, which, which part of this layer was on top of which because they're all sideways. It's been bent by the different processes of nature. We call this an unconformity. It doesn't follow the law of superposition. It is unconformed to that. And there are a few different types of unconformities we're going to talk about. So, but I, I like to use this analogy, this comparison. An unconformity in nature with rock layers that you see in a, in a cliff, in a mountain, those, they're sort of like a, a book, a history book, if you will. And an unconformity is when you start ripping pages out, burning pages, ripping the edges off, losing words by ripping pieces out, and it becomes this unconformed book. It, it no longer goes from beginning to end in a nice, neat way that you can read. Well, rocks do this too. When they don't conform to the law of superposition and you have erosion and tearing away of some of the rock, you have an unconformity. And it's important to understand this stuff because with unconformities, you lose part of the history of that rock. We can start looking at rocks and learning the history of the area. Well, when erosion takes part of away, you lose the history. Now, there's three types of, not un of unconformities. The first one is called a nonconformity. And with a nonconformity, what happens is you will have a, a bit of, of unstratified rock. Mean, that means rock that doesn't have layers. You can see it on the bottom here. Let's zoom in. And usually that's intrusive igneous rock. All right? It could be like granite, say, that forms underground. It cools into an intrusive igneous rock. It comes to the surface, and parts of it erode away, and then stratified rock build on top. If I show you... With nonconformity, what you have is this section right here where you have intrusive igneous rock, this magma that's going to cool underground, might become a granite, something like that. And the layers on top will eventually erode away and expose that, that intrusive igneous rock. And you can see rivers going through it, rain eroding it away. And then later on, you have more deposits of stratified rock on top of that. Now you can see this whole area... Of, of what was once the intrusive igneous rock that's eroded. It's kind of like ripping the pages out of a history book. You're losing information about the rock record here. And that's what we call a nonconformity. The next one's a disconformity. A disconformity is where you have, um, you have stratified rock that's older, that's being, that has piles of stratified rock on top of it. So here's an example. You can see this little dip here where probably a riverbed or a creek ran through and eroded away part of that lower part. And here's the whole thing. You have deposition of sediments. And as they get uplifted, you will have, once again, erosion. And that erosion is like tearing the pages out of the history book. You'll keep hearing me say this. And then new sediments will stack on top of it. And that is your, your disconformity in that area. Last one here is angular unconformity and there's a great picture of it you see these on the highways around here quite often where it gets twisted at an angle and what happens is first you have all this deposition of of layers and with the movements of the earth they get twisted and turned at turned to an angle and the edges of those pages of the history book the edges will erode away so we're losing information and eventually new sediments and new layers will build on top of that. And so we have this angular unconformity throughout that area. A couple other things I want to mention that will help us interpret the rock record. One is called cross-cutting relationship. This is where you can see it here. You have a, a fault, a crack in the rock, or an intrusion, which we refer to as, as this is basically like a magma that will seep up little streams of magma that seep up through the rock and harden as igneous rock become intrusions. And the rule here is if a crack or an intrusion cuts across the layer, 
then it must be younger than the layer it cuts through. Here's some other examples. So it's pretty straightforward. You see all these different layers and you see all the cracks. Those cracks must have happened after the layers are formed. So the cracks, the faults, the, the little breaks there are younger than the layers. It's just kind of a common sense piece. Another one we're going to mention is called the law of inclusions. With the law of inclusions, we simply state that if you have a rock layer, and somewhere inside that rock layer are little bits and pieces from the rock layers below it, then it must be younger than the ones below it. In other words, rock layer B here has to be younger than rock layer A because it has bits and pieces of rock layer A in it. You can't put pieces of rock layer A into rock layer B if rock layer A is younger. So it only makes sense once again. All right. So take a minute. Let's see if you can figure out the order of these rocks. You can label them A, B, C, D, E, and F, including the fault. And the dike is what we another word we use to refer to as an intrusion. See if you can put these in order from youngest to oldest. And if you want, you can pause this and try that out. And the next one we're going to try is going to be this one. See if we can put this in order. Go ahead and give it a try. And you can pause it again. And we're going to talk about this in class as well. All right.